Hello, my name is Andrei, and in this video I'll talk about data extraction from invoice document without using RAC. Uh, obviously, you can implement uh, entire RAC application with some complex use cases, with the vector databases, with embeddings, and so on. Uh, it would work, but also there's a simpler approach where you could implement data extraction from the invoice or receipt document without using RAC, but uh, using just uh, instructor library and pedantic okay so like in this case uh, as you see here i'm using instructor library and with the help of the instructor i can send the request uh, the question and the data uh, of the receipt or invoice to the llm and uh, llm could identify relationships between the fields and it could uh, extract the fields that i'm asking for so uh, there's no need to provide any additional knowledge to the LLM to process the request. Uh, whatever it does, it just uh, uh, finds the relationships between the data fields, and this is how it gets actual values uh, for the request. And let's look into this uh, example here. Uh, I'm executing within Sparrow instructor agent, passing the file, and by the way, I'm using unstructured to pre-process data, uh, read, read the data from PDF, and to convert it into the more friendly format for the LLM. For example, uh, with the help of unstructured, I can uh, auto-detect uh, tables inside the invoice document and convert data from those tables into the HTML format with HTML divs. And this would help uh, LLM to extract data easier. And, okay, we run... Here, uh, ex we extract uh, and load data from the document, and this is how the table data, which is processed by unstructured, looks like. It's a uh, uh, valid HTML structure with uh, cells, columns, rows, and uh, this way, for LM, it's easier to extract the text instead of passing the raw text. So this is a really great help for LLM, and... Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, that LLM in this case, it doesn't need to... Uh, it, it already got all the data that it uh, needs to respond to our question, for example, to retrieve invoice number, because all the data is within the request. And what LLM does, it looks for the relationship. So it, try, it tries to find um, some nearby invoice uh, number label, and then next to this field, it tries to find... Uh, value which looks like invoice number and then, then it will return it to us. And with the help of the uh, instructor, we can pass a uh, pedantic class which could um, uh, help LLM uh, to construct proper answer because we specify fields and types that we expect to be included into the response. And LLM uh, is looking for the fields and is looking for the type that uh, must be retrieved and then it constructs uh, with the help of the uh, instructor, uh, we get back uh, constructed JSON output. So this uh, this is, uh, for example, list of invoice items. Then we have a list of invoice, invoice item prices, and this is the total, which is uh, first two uh, lists are retrieved from the first table, and the total is retrieved from the uh, second table. This is the value is is, uh, is here. So. My point is that in this case uh, we don't need track because we already have all the data that we pass to LLM and uh, LLM just uh, constructs relationships. And if you look into the code implementation uh, of the instructor agent within Sparrow in this case, uh, it's very simple. It's way more simple than you'd uh, implement with RAC uh, approach. So this is the execute query method and uh, we're using um, instructor API here we point to the local Olama instance and then we point to the LLM that runs locally on Olama in this case uh, it could be either wizard LLM or Llama free fine-tuned uh, for the function calling for example uh, that I'm using here and then I'm within the content I'm passing the query so the list of fields to be fetched and then I'm passing the content. So the content is just a plain text uh, that is processed by 
unstructured and retrieve title from invoice or receipt document and then we execute the request and we are getting back the answer because LLM is able to identify relationships uh, as uh, as expected and in this case we don't need rack uh, because uh, the the invoice or receipt processing is relatively simple of course if you need to process some maybe large documents and then you would need to split uh, uh, the, the, the data into chunks and store them in a vector database, then uh, maybe you'd need uh, different implementations. But for simple, relatively simple short documents, the approach without RAC seems to work fine. And yeah, you should give it a try and uh, you should look into the Sparrow and into this uh, instructor agent that we got. And I'll be updating it with uh, more functionality. And in my next video, I'll explain uh, Sparrow Parse library that we implement and integrate with the instructor agent. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.